Hello and welcome to your new TV station for Liverpool and beyond. This is Bay TV Liverpool. Uh, it's your station and we are now in your home. So good to have you. My name is Jay Hind. Welcome to one of our studios. Uh, this is where we're doing our big launch show today. Thank you very much. 60 minutes, loads to come. We've got four big Liverpool anthems on the way from four local artists. Dominic Dunn, Taylor Fowlis, Amelia Pinchy and the fantastic Ian Prowse. Pete Price is coming up on the show to tell us a bit about Bay TV. I'm going to quiz my bosses very soon. We'll talk the music festivals, the comedy, the nightlife, the lifestyle. Everything Liverpool will be celebrated here over the next 60 minutes. Welcome to Bay TV Liverpool. And this is a taster as to what you can expect. Liverpool's exciting new local TV station is on its way. Bay TV Liverpool will be delivering the best from local communities, culture, news and entertainment. Broadcasting from the heart of Liverpool, our team of energetic video journalists and producers will be bringing you the latest from around the Merseyside region. We will also be broadcasting a wide range of programmes too, including local news, sports, music, politics, business and entertainment. You love this place, don't you, Kim? And, and it's, it's great as a scouser to, to see that. Oh, what, what do you love do. most? I love the people most in Liverpool. Um, you know, they don't always say... They're not very sentimental. They tell yeah. you exactly how you think. Whether you support Liverpool, whether you're a Red or an Everton. Yeah. Which <laughs> so, one are you? Oh, I'm a Red. You're a Red. Yes, Good girl. yes Good girl. I am. Yes. I am. This really is your station for your city and your region. Follow us now on Twitter at BayTV underscore Liverpool and also on Facebook BayTV Liverpool. You'll keep up to date on our progress, exciting times for Liverpool and Merseyside as BayTV gets set to go live. So that is just a little tiny taster as to what you can expect from this, your brand new TV station for Liverpool. What on air, Bay TV is finally here. Uh, and with me now are the two people behind it, my two bosses. So this interview could go one way or the other, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Chris Kerr and also Chris Johnson, Chief, Chief Executive of Bay TV Liverpool. Let's go back, Chris. Let's talk about the bid for, for this station. Um, how did you put it all together and, and how was this station chosen as the one to, to be on the, on the Liverpool licence? Well, this is, this is where we live. This was the only station that we ever wanted to do, really. Uh, we put together a bid which uh, Ofcom and the Broadcast Licensing Committee liked. Uh, it was uh, about serving the city, reflecting the life and times of the city, and really engaging with the people and engaging with the audience. That's what we want to do. That's what we've set our stall out to do. And I hope that's what we are achieving. Of course we will, of course. This is the first of many, many programmes. We'll talk about, about the programmes in just a second. Uh, the work that's gone into this, you know, I've seen blood, sweat and tears in these studios over the past 18 <laughs> months. It's, it's been tough, hasn't it? But, but we're finally on. It has been tough, yes. Um, it's been probably the hardest thing either of us has ever done, I should think. Um, and I think possibly if we'd known it was going to be this tough, we might have thought twice about doing it. But here we are. Uh, hard work always pays off in the end, so jolly good thing too. Tell me about Liverpool and why we need a station like this. I think it's great because this, this city, they love a the gossip. They love to see what's going on. It's the perfect location for this, isn't it? We've had tremendous feedback from the people of the city on Twitter, on email, on Facebook, uh, and indeed people stopping us in the streets. Whenever we you know, mention where we were, they say, oh, we can't wait, we can't wait for it to get to us. So that's a reality now, and, and that's what we've worked very hard for. Uh, I can't... Uh, really missed this opportunity to thank all the team here at the station who've done such a tremendous job pulling this all together sometimes against the odds I can tell you but uh, it's all worth it in the end let's talk some of the programs because the schedule is set uh, my program is on later on I've got to mention that 8 30 the guide be watching <laughs> but tell me what else is on the schedule because we've got a, a massive variety of programs well I think as Chris has said we really want to reflect everything that's good about Liverpool and so that inevitably means a lot of sport quite a lot of politics, a lot of entertainment, and particularly because of my background, a lot of culture. So we have, we'll have regular nightly programmes about, about music, theatre, film, and so on and so mm -hmm. on. Um, we want to 
as we get better and as we get uh, more practice of this, we obviously want to open up, we want to have debate programmes, we want to have regular sessions with the politicians, we want to do programmes about all sorts of other things, local health, uh, gardening, mm. childcare, pet care. I mean, anything that happens in Liverpool, we'd like to do programmes about. One thing I loved is that you invited people to, to get in touch and, and to come up with ideas themselves. <coughs> and there are programmes in which people have put, put forward to you and, and you've said, yeah, do it. Absolutely. That, that's still open, isn't it? It absolutely is. Not, it's not just ideas we'd like. We'd like programmes too. I mean, we've always said when we first put the bid together, we wanted to be grown up about the schedule. We wanted to share it in a way that um, companies like the BBC and Granada can't. Uh, and so if there are people out there who've got ideas, would like to make programmes f with us or for us, uh, then we'd love to have them. Okay, so people just email in and, and absolutely. Details on, and and on what we've always said is that if if you haven't got the ability or the skills or the technology or the kit to make a program, then there are chances that we can work with you to do that. Okay, one program each that you're both looking forward to seeing. I'm really <coughs> backing the news. I think the news is going to be a vital part of our output. Um, again, we want people to ring in with stories, the, the topics that they want covering. So I think we've got an awful lot of ground to cover and we're really ready to go on the news side. And the news is, is on straight after us. 6.30 is the first news bulletin on Bay TV. Don't miss that, Chris. One programme has to be the guide. Thank you. Thank you. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Uh, 8.30 tonight, that's Absolutely. on as well. Don't miss it. To that. Thank you, guys. Thanks for chatting. Uh, really appreciate it. And, and good luck. You can go and celebrate, have a lie down, do whatever you need to do we now. Just do that. And, uh, yeah, thank you, guys. Cheers. Uh, right, lots of music on the way over the next hour as well. We've got four local acts singing huge local scouse anthems, some covers. Uh, but first off, singing one of his own tunes from the band Amsterdam. It's the amazing Ian Prowse. <laughs> Pyramid near Maryland. Easy Jet is hanging in the air, taking everybody everywhere. Whoa. See the slave ship sailing into port, the blood of Africa's on every wall. Now there's a ley line runs down Matthew Street. It's giving energy to all it needs. Whoa, hey, does this train stop? Does this train stop on Merseyside? Whoa, hey, does this train stop? Does this train stop on Merseyside? Whoa. Story out to everyone. Famine boats are anchored in the bay, bringing in the poor and desperate. Oh, oh. hey, does this train stop? Does this train stop on Merseyside? Oh, oh. hey, does this train stop? Does this train stop on Merseyside? Boston babies bouncing on the ground. The rigors beaming out to every town. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you remember? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Why don't you remember? Can't conceive what those children done Guess there's a meanness in the soul of man Yorkshire policemen chat with folded arms People try and save their fellow fans Hey, does this train stop? Does 
this train stop on Merseyside? Oh, hey, does this train stop? Does this train stop on Merseyside? Oh, How good was that, the amazing Ian Prowse? We're going to have more from him a little bit later. Thanks for performing, Ian. We'll chat to you very, very soon. Right now, though, uh, I feel like a panellist on, like, a Liverpool version of Loose Women. We wanted to get some Liverpool ladies in, basically, to come in and talk talk about Liverpool fashion and glamour and rollers and PJs. Claire Simo from Radio City. Oh, hello. Uh, we've got the lovely Lisa Simmons, who works here at Bay TV. Hello. And the lovely Kim White. You own your own fashion range, Kim. Well, yes. <laughs> and that launches this weekend. It launches on Friday at the Clothes Show in Birmingham. And that wow. is fashionbomb. Fashionbomb.com. So you're taking a bit of Scouse National, that's what we like. Absolutely, the Liverpool girls do it the best. Tell me, let's talk glamour. Let's talk for, for the ladies, the rollers and the PJs. Have any of you three have ever done that? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to say, there's plenty of time that I've been seen on the school run with pin curls or rollers in my hair or coming out after having a spray tan and a onesie. Oh, you yeah. can't beat that one. That's another classic, isn't have it? Have you ever <laughs> been on an EasyJet flight flying to, like, Mallorca or Ibiza? Even the pilots got rollers in. They're all PJ I can rollers. I a funnier story than that. We've actually got a house in Mallorca and there's a supermarket not too far away. We were going to a big event, so I've got my rollers in, shoot down to the supermarket like you would here, and these guys are following me around the supermarket. I'm with my daughter, and she's going. They were English, so they're going, you ask her, you ask her. So I'm like, so he goes to me, are you, Aaron, can I ask you a question? Aaron, of course, are you from Liverpool? That more or less says it. Absolutely no <laughs> straight went, away. Oh yes. But you know what? At first it was a little bit annoying, I'll be honest. But now it's kind of we kind of we love it, don't we? I yeah. like to see people out it's on the like, rollers. It's, it's almost like a bit of a trademark for us now. People know, and I think it's good because people come to the city, and even when you speak to lads who come from Newcastle or wherever they come, they always say the good thing about Liverpool girls is they make an effort. Yeah. They like they go to the shops like as if like they're going for a night out. But yeah. I think that's great. There's I nothing do. wrong with taking a bit of pride in your appearance, is there? I think the only I've done it is, um, oh, this is so cliched, the morning of Ladies' Day when you're taking the kids to school. It's yeah. it's kind of, it's a national institution, isn't it, Ladies' Day in Liverpool? Ladies' Day is great. Oh, I love the, the races. That's something thing. to look forward to every year, yeah, isn't it? Every Can we please year, yeah. go out and about in the races next year, guys? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just got the thumbs up there. I like at the end of the day when you've seen them all arrive and then as you leave it, you see them all grabbing the flip-flops going to the yeah. station. <laughs> Streaky fake tans out the edge of the rain and not a good look. <laughs> so this show, this is our launch show. So it's it's you the first one of the first guests to be on, on Bay TV Liverpool. Oh. We're celebrating all things Liverpool because it's fantastic here, let's be honest. Let's go round the round the table and see what, what's your favourite thing about Liverpool, Kim? I think I love the fashion of Liverpool. I've got to be honest, that's my passion. And I think nobody does it better than Liverpool girls. Mm. I also think that there's a demographic in Liverpool, which is Liverpool, Essex and Newcastle. What will sell there might not sell in the rest of the country, but those girls mm. really know how to put on a show. Yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. What about you, Lise? Yeah, I agree with that. But for me, it's about the football and the music. I'm a big blue up the toffees and yeah I like all the music that comes from Liverpool I like the fact that we are our sound is unique to Liverpool you can tell Liverpool band a mile off got that rock beat I love a bit I love a bit of the music and the DJs three more musicians coming up on this show all scouts Brilliant. all amazing 
you'll have to stick around for that. Exactly. Claire Simmer, what do you love most? You see, you've just touched on the music. I think the fact now we've got the arena, we've got the Liverpool Echo Arena, we've got the Empire, we've got massive shows that want to come here. Your likes are wicked, everything. It is just the place. But it's the everyone, again, it's the cliche, but it's the people. Mm. You go anywhere else and, and you don't get the laugh with it. They've always got an answer. You cannot... You, the, just the people are just different here than I think anywhere else in the country. It's a warm, it's a friendly place. And so much has happened. I've got so many people who've come back and have said, what a great place Liverpool is to be now. Well, best listen, thank you world. for that. It is the best city, best in, the city in the world. Thanks for joining me. You're on in Panto in St. Helens Theatre Royal starting very soon. It's oh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. no, you're not. <laughs> That's looking forward That's to that. Right. Lisa, you're going to be looking after the social media on Bay. I am. People can tweet us now at BayTV underscore Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, and I think they should tweet us and tell us whether we need, like, a Loose Lasses style show on the hey, station. I think we should. Claire Simo could host it. I'll do it. You, you can be Loose on the Lasses. first panel. Let's sort that out. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Sounds girls. Like really appreciate plan. it. Kim, Lisa, Claire, thank, thank you. you. Thank uh, you. OK, more music now. This guy is incredible. It's covering one of my favourite tunes from one of the biggest bands to ever come out of the city. Uh, the Coral, what a band they were. Wait till you hear his voice. You like them, don't you? Yeah. This is the fantastic Emilio Pinchy. Enjoy. Every day I recognize the disease from the alive But don't repeat what I just said Until boulders tend to lead And all the tales will be told Whilst you and I are in the cold but don't think that it's the end Because it's just begun, my friend And when it's done All oh, this is gone Just find the feeling and pass it on For every tear cried in shame There'll be someone else to blame And all the crimes that I commit There'll be a punishment to fit but I'd accept what's coming round If I could only lose this sound That's been ringing in my ears And tormenting me for years But when it's done All oh, this is gone Just find the feeling, pass it on Emilio Pinchy on Bay TV Liverpool, The Coral. What a tune that is, yeah, mate. it's a cool tune. Yeah, why, why that one? That's a big Liverpool tune. Um, yeah, I suppose that's like my favourite song. It stands out to me by them, really. Uh, okay. I like a lot of their stuff, so. You've got a new single, Trying Man, is available now on SoundCloud, so check that out. And you're playing a big gig on Sunday, I House am. in it's Liverpool. It's going to be good. Brill. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for getting involved in our first ever show on Bay TV. Emilio Pinchy, thank you, mate. Uh, OK, loads more to come in part two. Stay exactly where you are. Mr Peter Price tells us about his involvement in Bay TV. Uh, as well, we'll talk the Liverpool International Music Festival, we'll talk the Comedy Festival, and we'll talk about good old Scouse humour. Don't move a muscle. More music to come to on our big Bay launch show. Bay TV is here. We'll catch you soon.
So welcome back to this, your brand new TV station for Liverpool and Merseyside. My name is Jay Hines. This lamb banana is still yet to be named, by the way. So get on Twitter, at BayTV underscore Liverpool. Let's name our lamb banana today if we can. Uh, lots more to come. More music from Dominic Dunn. He's got a great cover. The lovely Taylor Fowlers covers the real thing. Uh, and next up, we're going to talk Liverpool International Music Festival and good old Scouse humour as well. But first, as we're celebrating Liverpool, let's see what the people of Liverpool want. Think of the city. Lovely Suzanne from Old Swan is with me. What do you love most about this fantastic city? The variety of people, the places, the shops, the culture. Just fantastic. The socialising, the drinking around the shopping areas and it's lovely. It's so it's going so multicultural as well and it's really embracing everything about the developments that's changed, all the changes in Liverpool, it's great. 2008 was a massive year, wasn't it? Yeah. And look at this now, Liverpool one. I, got... I don't recognise the city, I'm from, from the city, I just don't recognise it anymore, it's just yeah. amazing. Love it. What do you like most about Liverpool? Uh, the people, nice and friendly. I mean, I've been compared to uh, the Manx. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. I love the you? fashion, I work in fashion and I love the way Liverpool girls dress and how they just present themselves really. What do you think about the pyjamas and the fake tan and all that? It's it's our little glamour, it's I our fashion, isn't it? It gives a stamp on Liverpool. What do you guys love most about this fantastic city? Well, probably the friendliness, I think. People are very friendly, caring, yeah. Well, what do you love best about Liverpool and Merseyside? Um, the people more than anything, really. Um, the, the shops, the, the football clubs, the Albert Dock. Yeah. The pubs, the clubs, everything there. You're going to be watching Bay TV, of course, throughout its run. Now we launch tonight. Oh, do you? Yeah, Channel Channel Eight on Freeview, and uh, also on Virgin as well. Right, I'll be watching. Good girl. Watching. Take care, guys. All right, thank you. And finally, Bay TV launches tonight. You're okay. going to be watching, aren't you, at home? Definitely. You're going to keep watching. How could I miss it? Still. Sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> Chatting to the guys there down at Liverpool One, rudely interrupting their Christmas shopping, so apologies for that, but thanks for chatting to us. Uh, well, we've launched, we're here. Bay TV Liverpool is now live on Channel uh, 8 on your free view. Uh, so thank you for checking us out. My name's Jay Hind. We've got various people in to chat to us about Liverpool, about what they love, about the city. And, and I've got three great lads in, uh, and a guitar, uh, <laughs> to talk to us about the culture of, of Liverpool. We've got Sam Avery, who runs the, the Liverpool Comedy Festival. Are you right, Sam? I'm very good, thanks. We've got Yao Uwusu, uh, who runs the Liverpool International Music Festival, curator of, of Lymph. Yeah, no responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> and also Ian Prowse as well. Hi, you you heard sing a little bit earlier. How are you doing, Ian? I'm very well. Very so, well. so let's start with you. Let's talk music. Yeah. Is it all down to the Beatles? It's a question everyone asks. We've no. got something in the air here, something in the water. Yeah. Is it down to the Beatles? Oh, no, of course it's not down to the Beatles. I mean, they kind of kick-started it, it um, well, them and lots of other bands in, you know, the Mersey Beat phenomenon in the 60s. But, you know, we had the, the Eric's explosion as well, and then the, the bandwagon stuff out the Zanzibar. And, and since then, I, I, you know, I run the, uh, the Monday Club in the Cavern Pub every, every single week, and the amount of people who come down to play their own music because mm. we ban covers is, is phenomenal and we've never run out of people to play. It's and not it's like any other city, is it? It couldn't happen in Derby or, you know, or even probably Manchester mm. just because it's, uh, there's people have this, you know, compunction to get up and, and express themselves because we have lots of poetry as well and yeah. full bands and, uh, you know, I'm very proud that, that, we, that we do that and it's a, it's like another explosion of, of uh, talent on Matthew Street again, the, like the third explosion of it, really. You performed at Lymph Liverpool International Music Festival last I year. Did. So you, your boss Yow. last year was, was Yao. Yeah. Yao, what, a, what an incredible festival, mate, <laughs> down at Sefton Park. Well, yeah, you know, that and, you know, alongside the commissions and the academy activity, I thought, you know, was, was really good in only our second year. So it's continually building. But, you know, in the end of the day, my role and the festival means nothing without people like Ian kind of getting back behind, especially, you know, a lot of the Liverpool musicians who've kind of built this city's kind of legacy and the viewpoint of how people view the city musically. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's an honour. And we had Shaggy. Yeah, it's it's amazing. amazing. You know, you've got to have a little bit it's of... It's the boombastic. You've got to have a little bit of that in there, haven't you? Just, you know, keep it honest. <laughs> now, you're going to give us some exclusive now. <laughs> I can give you exclusives about other festivals. OK, and other uh, is anything in the pipeline for Lymph 2015? It's the main thing in the it? pipeline, it's going to happen, yeah. which is good, you know what I mean? And obviously, testament once again to the City Council, being able to protect it and make sure that with all the cuts, they still you know, put music mm. and culture high on the agenda. Um, you know, going back to what Ian said, a theme that we're going to have for next year in line with um, the 
the the summer jam activity and all that is going to be you know looking at how this music's be, how this city's being influenced by migration right okay um, okay how it's been influenced musically by migration so it's just quite interesting apt that you know that was the opening question and sound city you mentioned before they've confirmed one act already that's a great festival um who totally. is it the Flame and Lips, which Great. I think is obviously massive, and Twitter went crazy when they yeah. asked at ten o'clock. Uh, yeah, ten o'clock Wednesday. 10 so yeah, it's 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 been you know Sound City continued the excellence. You know mm. what I mean? It's great to kind of work alongside them and be inspired and pushed by them. Yeah, as well. brilliant. Sam, comedy. Yeah, completely different to music. Let's start with with the Scouse humour because there's something here humour wise. We've got so many comedians: Ken Dodd, John Bishop, Tom O'Connor. Yeah, but people just walking the streets are funny people, aren't they? They are funny people, and weirdly, that means a lot of comedians don't like coming to Liverpool because they feel like the audience are funnier than the acts, which isn't always the case. I just think Scouts are very gobby and are very <laughs> used to joining in. And I always think, uh, I go around the country doing stand-up comedy in different different cities, and a lot of time people say to me, Scousers are, are the best comedians at dealing with heckles. And I think that's just because we get heckled in our living room, yeah. you know, we got heckled in our classroom, you know, so you've got to be able to, you've got to be quick. Scousers are very quick, and I think that's why some comics don't like coming to Liverpool, and it's unfairly got a bit of a bad rap, but I think if you're a good comic, you know how to play the city, and you know how to, to kind of deal with the audience yeah. and get them on side. Comedy Festival, massive success this year. Yeah. You're behind this. Yeah. Next year, 2015, what can you tell us? Yeah, nothing right now. It's all just in the planning okay. stage. We've got loads of nice ideas. We had a really great festival this year. We had a, One of my favourite events was we had a screening of the Bill Hicks documentary at the Odeon Cinema in Liverpool 1, which was fantastic. And we had the two directors came and did a QA and a after the event. Mm. And we even got Bill Hicks' brother on the phone from Texas who did a live uh, Q&A with the audience. So wow. we're hoping to build that relationship up and, and lots of other avenues because comedy's not just stand up there's sketches there's there's jokes there's cartoons it, it's right across especially in this city it goes right across everything so we're trying to just Brilliant. sort of tap into other areas so that's september comedy september, festival yeah, the end of september. Uh, and lots of big gigs just give us one coming up that you're looking forward uh, to there's a massive gig at the philharmonic hall for uh, laughter house are doing a special christmas uh, show with jason manford hal cruttenden and about a million other brilliant comedians and that's at the philharmonic Bill, thank you sam one big gig though we've got to mention this weekend east village arts club yeah. Ian Prowse and is going to be performing. Yeah. It's We've looking got a forward to that. Twelve-piece band. It's our last uh, show of the year. We started off in New York City on St Patrick's Day. Uh, for our, I've had a new album out this year, Who Loves Your Baby, and we finish off in Liverpool on Saturday. And that's this Saturday. Yeah, so come yeah. down. Everybody's very welcome. Thank you, guys. Thanks for chatting. Fair show on Bay TV. Thank you. Let you get back to uh, Thanks, whatever you're doing. Cheers, yeah. guys. Thank Cheers, you. Uh, someone you know, Ian, by the way, is performing for us next. Uh, uh, Mr. Dominic Dunn. This guy's only 17 years old. Uh, the Echoes One to Watch of 2014. He'd done a great song, Angel, uh, for, for the lovely Anne Williams, in tribute to her for the Hillsborough Justice Campaign. And he's got a cover for us now, singing Space and Neighbourhood. This is Dominic Dunn. Thanks, guys. Mm. A transvestite. He's a man by day, but he's a woman at night. There's a man in number four who swears he's Saddam Hussein. Said he's on the chart to start the Third World War. Oh, if find the time, please come and stay a while in my beautiful neighborhood. In a hundred and ten, they haven't paid the rent. So there goes the TV with the repo men. In 999, they make a living from crime. The house is always empty because they're all doing time. Oh, if you find the time, please come and stay a while. In my beautiful neighborhood, my neighborhood, my, my, my beautiful neighborhood. Who lives in a house like this? Who lives in a house like this? In number 15, there lives a big butch queen. 
He's bigger than Tyson and he's twice as mean. Six, 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 there lives a Mr. Miller. He's, He's the, the local, local vicar and a serial killer. Oh, if you find a time, please come and stay a while in my beautiful neighborhood. My neighborhood. My, my, my beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. neighborhood. Oh, they want to knock us down because they think we're scum. But we will all be waiting when the bulldozers come In a neighborhood like this you know it's hard to survive So you better come prepare cause they will take us alive Oh, if you find the time please come and stay a while In my beautiful neighborhood, my neighborhood Beautiful neighborhood, my neighborhood. My, my, my beautiful neighborhood, my neighborhood. My, 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 my beautiful neighborhood. Wow! Superb, you two. Amazing. Moore's Dominic done. Well done. Space, massive, massive tune. Uh, tell us why you chose that one. Um, you know, it means growing up in Liverpool, Space being a big influence musically, and like, you know, the song Neighborhood as well. If I can relate to it coming from. You know what? Yeah. I had background like that. You got transvestites and everything living in oh, your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got them in ours. Got them in my house. <laughs> you were brilliant today, mate. You've had a massive, massive year, haven't you? It's been busy. Angel, yeah, yeah. single, lots going on, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, with the Angel, I'm just made up to be involved. And I mean, it was such a great thing to get to where it got off, like, not mm. that much backing. So, yeah, it was just brilliant. And loads of stuff online. Check Dominic Dunn out online. Uh, Facebook, SoundCloud, it's, yeah, it's all it's on there. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. Fair show on nice Bay one. TV. Thanks for performing. Nice Thank one for having us. OK, so next up, uh, a bit of a Liverpool legend. You've heard him on the radio shouting very loud, uh, but you're soon to see a lot more of Mr Pete Price as he joins Bay TV. Okay, so one of the soon-to-be stars of this very station uh, is a legend in this city, Mr. Pete Price. How are you doing? I'm excited. I can't believe it's actually happening and I'm part of the first show, which I'm very excited about. And 2015, I joined the station after Panto. So I want to be fresh and I want to go on holiday and I want to come back and we've got some great ideas. But I can't believe it's actually happening. Congratulations. It's a great achievement and it's going to be amazing because local people love this sort of television. They love, they want to see what's happening. They want personality. They want, they want to hear local news. They want to, they, they want to feel it's, it's an actual paper, a newspaper, but with sound and with lights. It's the perfect place for a station like this, isn't it, Liverpool? Because people are nosy, they want to see what's going on, and, and they love a chatter, they love the banter, and they love a gabber and gossip. I think it's a very exciting, very exciting time, uh, and I'm very, very privileged to be part of it. In 2015, 2015, I'm joining. <laughs> This station will be much better then, by the way. Um, let's talk about why, why you're not doing it now. You're doing Panto at the, the world-famous Empire. Yeah. Aladdin, tell us more about well, that. Well, we do, we're doing Panto. It's my 29th Panto now. and uh, That's 29 times 29 in a Dame times. costume, yeah. It, it's exciting, because the Empire, it's the number one theatre. When I was a kid and you weren't born, I went to see my first Panto, and I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be on that stage, and I was on that stage. Uh, and it's great. This year, we've got a great cast Ray Quinn, uh, Claire Sweeney, who is fabulous. She's got a new baby. So I am babysitting in between scenes. Seriously. Can't breastfeed. Tried. Doesn't work. But you've got, you potentially ish, could in the future, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not the right milk. Not the right <laughs> milk. Sorry about that. I'm only mentioning that because, of course, it was all the problems at Claridge's about breastfeeding. We should talk about that. Now, if I was on the show now, that's the subject we would have talked about today. Anyway, back to the panto. Tell me about your... Back to the panto. Uh, looking forward to the panto. We're coming to see you on the guide uh, next week, which Good. I'll tell you more about yeah. soon. Uh, but tell me about the show you're going to have lined up. Your radio show is huge, massive success. Is it going to be similar? Are we going to see the same characters coming on? 
It's going to be interesting to see how we put the show together. I don't want to give too much away because I want it to be a surprise, but I want to come. I go into your beds at night because my late night phone in, I go to bed with many people. I am incredibly um, uh, sexually active, apparently, through my mic. Because people come up to me in the stadium and go, Hi, go to bed with you. <laughs> really? Where's your husband? Oh, he's asleep. Got the headphones in. So what I want to do now is, and with this media, which is great, I want to actually go into the home. So I want people to be in my lounge, and I want guests, and I want to talk, and I want some way to talk to the listeners. I what don't know how we're going to do it yet, uh, but it's going to be and at weekends, so it's going to be the start of the weekend. So when I finish my radio show, I go straight uh, to the television and carry on with my weekends. Radio show has gone from strength to strength to strength. It's been around forever. You've won numerous awards. What makes that show tick? How do you get? How do you plan something like that every night? Do you know you're going to lose the rag? Do you know you're going to lose your temper? Um, the radio show is now legendary, not because of me. It's because of the listeners and people like you. Because of course you were a producer for many years with me, and I've had the most incredible producers, incredible people that work with me, and we work together, and it's great. And it doesn't work without that. That's and listeners, and because it's the Northwest, and this is why this television station will, will survive and succeed, because they love to be part of it. Um, Phone-ins are just, you know, th there's been two world wars to fight to give us freedom of speech, and we've got freedom of speech, and we should never waste it. And Liverpool are gobby people, so they love to gob off, and they gob off on my show. So to transfer that onto the television is going to be interesting to see how we do it. We've won... 27 awards and Thursday of this week my life has changed so completely. today, today we're going to come on yeah. to this something extremely special mm. has happened you've probably read about this um, you're not actually in Liverpool right now uh, you're in London yeah. and you've just received the most amazing honour you could ever receive in radio it, it, it came out the blue it's um, the Radio Academy's Hall of Fame and I've been inducted I keep saying indoctrinated it's not indoctrinated you're not a priest I, no, no I'm not a priest well I am I'm a late night priest I, am, I have got the confessional box but the, the award came out the blue and I'm on with Nikki Campbell Barry Cryer uh, Vanessa Phelps and a couple of other people, and we're all being inducted into the Hall of Fame, and it's there for history. And the first one ever, apparently, one of the, one of the first ones ever, was Wilfred Pickles. You won't know who it is. The listeners will, if they're older like me. He was the first person I got uh, an autograph off. I actually got his autograph, and I've got it somewhere in the house, and he was the first person to be inducted. It is the greatest honour in the world because it's voted for by your peers, and I'm not too sure what it is, but I think it's a rose bowl, which I'm a bit disappointed about because you can't walk around with a rose bowl going, saying, look what I've got. If you've got an award, you go, hey, it's me award. Rose Bowl doesn't really make a pendant, does it? So um, You never know with you, to be honest. Some, some of the outfits that you've worn in the past, uh, you could see a Rose Bowl around your neck. I could wear it on my head. Perfect. Absolutely. In Panto. I love it. In fact, I could take it on in Panto. What a great thing. Friday night is going on in Panto. Look what I've got. Back to the script. <laughs> I'm very excited. And if it wasn't for the listeners, um, I, I would never have been where I am today. And they, they it, well, you know, because you're a broadcaster as well. You, you know that it, they slap you down. They keep you sane in this town, and that's why this television station will work. I am so thrilled to be part of it in 2015. What a great start to a new year. Well in, Mr Pete Price, inducted into the Radio Academy Hall of Fame today. Well in, Pricey, we will see you on Bay TV Liverpool very soon. So it's our fair show, nearly over. Uh, but some more music now. We've saved the best until last. Get ready for this. Liverpool Echoes want to watch 2014. Miss Taylor Fowlis. I will take the stars out of the sky for you. Make the rain start falling if you ask me to. I'd do anything for you. Your wish is my command. I can move a mountain when your hand is in my hand. Words cannot express how much you mean to me. There must be some other way to make you see. If it takes my heart and soul, you know I pay the price. 
sacrifice everything that I possess I gladly sacrifice oh you to me are everything the sweetest song that I could sing oh baby oh baby to you I guess I'm just a clown who picks you up each time you're down oh baby oh baby you give me just a taste of love to build my hopes upon you know you've got the power boy to keep me holding on so now you've got the best of me come on and take the rest of me oh baby oh baby though you're close to me we seem so far apart Maybe given time you'll have a change of heart If it takes forever, boy, then I'm prepared to wait The day you give your love to me won't be a day too late Oh, you to me are everything The sweetest song that I could sing, oh baby Oh baby To you I guess I'm just a clown who picks you up each time you're down oh baby oh baby you give me just a taste of love to build my hopes upon you know you've got the power boy to keep me holding on so now you've got the best of me come on and take the rest of me oh baby oh baby to me are everything the sweet song that I could sing oh baby oh baby to you I guess I'm just a clown who picks you a piece of your town oh baby oh baby thank you absolutely brilliant come here you Graham, well done on the old keyboard there. Uh, that was fantastic, the real oh, thing. Thanks. What a big Scouse anthem. Yeah. Tell us why that song. Uh, everyone knows it, don't they? So I just thought I'd do something people could sing along to in their houses. So, it was yeah. brilliant. It oh, was brilliant. Thanks. I've seen you at Lymph yeah. uh, in the summer. What, what have you been doing since? Um, just up and down to London all the time. I'm recording, I'm getting new stuff together, recording an album, so I'm always there. Brilliant. Good. Okay, loads online. Check out Taylor Fowlis online. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you very soon on Bay yes, TV. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Appreciate that. Uh, so our first show, all done and dusted. Thank you for checking us out. Bay TV, Big TV Liverpool, even, uh, is officially here. Thank you for watching our launch show. Uh, myself and Ellie Phillips will be back at 8.30. Michael Stark chatting to us. Also music from Steve Langstaff and Peter Hooter as well. The first episode of The Guide. News and sport next on Bay TV. I'll see you soon. Take care.